Perth Glory's Shane Smeltz has declared himself fit to take on the Melbourne victory in tomorrow's elimination final after suffering a nasty head injury while on international duty. Smeltz, though, isn't guaranteed a starting spot. As Fox Sports News reporter Tanya Armstrong explains. Perth Glory have left Perth full of confidence of causing a boil over in their elimination final against Melbourne Victory. The good news is star striker Shane Smeltz is back in the squad. He, of course, hasn't played since copping a boot to the head while playing for New Zealand, an injury that required 15 stitches. No, it's been fine. To be honest, I haven't really thought about it. Um, obviously, this week we've, we've had two or three sessions. I haven't had to tape it up or anything like that. Obviously, we haven't done a lot of, lot of heading, but, um, yeah, it's been fine. You know, if this was a league game, I probably probably would put my hand up to play this week. So um, being an elimination final, um, you know, of course I'm going to play. But somewhat surprisingly, Glory coach Alistair Edwards isn't guaranteeing the A-League's all-time leading goal scorer a spot in the starting 11. Yeah, but also it would be hard to also leave a player like Dean Heffernan out of the team the way he performed last week. You know, we've got a situation where um, the last couple of weeks we've played some exceptional football. Shane's a big game player, uh, there's no doubt about that. But, you know, in saying that, uh, we now we know that the likes of Dean Heffernan are more versatile than we ever thought that they were before. Um, a lot of eyebrows were raised with him playing up there um, last week, but we're going to put out a team um, that's going to cause uh, Melbourne victory as much problems as we can. And whether that includes Shane or whether that includes Dean, we'll have to wait until the team runs out on, on Friday. It's been an amazing turnaround for Perth Glory, who were coming last when Alistair Edwards took the coaching reins, and they say playing a virtual elimination final in the past seven weeks will hold them in good stead in this final series. Everyone's sort of expecting them to win, but I think what you'll find now is... Um, um, there will be a lot of expectations from Melbourne for them to win the game, but I don't think many people would be surprised if we actually get, a, get up there and you know, get the result. It's going to be very difficult, obviously, but um, you know, the fact is that we've been over there, we've been in this situation for the last um, really seven weeks playing really finals football. We haven't had much root, m margin for error and the boys have performed um, extremely well. So the Glory have 16 players to choose from in Melbourne. Midfielder Liam Miller returns from suspension and there's plenty of debate ahead over exactly who'll take the field for the sudden death final. Tanya Armstrong for Fox Sports News.